All right, welcome back to this wonderful channel where we'll bring you back to back update and information as the hot. Uh, don't touch the die, just stay there. Uh, as the hot now, information will be say day for my table. Uh, be say the court. Uh, don't order the DSS make the grant mass nam the kind of access to his medical records and uh, of some of these things self are not even uh, something that should be taken to court. It, this, these things are normal things uh, that should be done by the DSS. But you know, uh, African government, African politicians, Nigerian politicians, when they are doing things to with you, they do it with all bitterness. That's that's the color of some African men. They do it with bitterness with you, as if you had something special with them. Instead of just following just simple protocols and order. In America, places like America, even if you stole, even if you are an armed robber, whatever you have done, there are some things, they will still, you know, give you opportunity to some things as a human being. Even if you will be hanged the next day, there are still some opportunities that are given to you. But uh, here in Nigeria, uh, people will be doing things to you as if um, they have a personal beef with you. Meanwhile, make we go... Uh, into that uh, information, make I bring you the full details of that information. They say the Federal High Court sitting in Abuja on Thursday ordered the Department of the Sex Service DSS to grant the 10 leader of the indigenous people of Biafra uh, Mazin and the Kano access to his medical records. The court, in a judgment that was delivered by Justice Bin Tanyaku, held that objection objections the security agencies raised against Kano's request leaked, lacked merit. It held that Kano was constitutionally entitled to have access to both the record he requested for and medical doctors of his choice. Nevertheless, Justice Nyako held that the independent medical examination of Kano by his personal physician should be supervised by the DSS with the entire process recorded and sealed for security purposes. The judgment followed a suit that the embattled IPOB leader filed through his team of lawyers led by Professor Mike ozekwame -san. Specifically, Kano had in the suit marked the FHC slash ABJ slash CS slash 2341 slash 2022 said he would need his doctors to conduct an independent examination to ascertain his actual state of health. He prayed the court for an order granting him leave to apply for judicial review in the form of an order of mandamus compelling the respondent to allow the applicant unhindered access to his medical doctors to enable them conduct an independent examination of his present deteriorating health condition as earlier ordered by the Federal High Court, Abuja, Kuram, Honorable Justice BFM Nyaku, on the 21st day of October 2021, and as required by the express provision of Section 7 of the Anti-Torture Act 2017, as well as an order of the Honorable Court granting leave to the applicant to apply for judicial review in form of an order of mandamus compelling the respondent to avail the applicant with all his medical record from 29th day of June 2021 to date. For Abuja, make I carry you enter Abuja. They say um, police don't catch uh, people where we say that they do one chance. These people where they do one chance moto uh, where we say you go enter moto plenty of people go there inside the moto but you will not know that you are the only one targeted uh, some of this some people uh, do it for the purpose of kidnapping some people also do it for the purpose of duping people which is also known as 419 in nigeria make i bring you that news as see the hot what is happening in abuja right now they said the Cap Federal Capital Territory Administration, FCTA, has clamped down one chance syndicate operating in an unapproved parking zone within the capital city. Mr. Peter Olumuji, the Secretary Command and Control Center of the Task Force established to enforce sanity in the city, explained on Wednesday in Abuja that the raid was, kept, was to keep the city safe. 
So uh, if you they enter car, uh, make you watch well, oh, make you watch well to see the kind of car where you say you they enter, uh, make you no know, be say you go enter the one where you say they go use you do pepper soup. Or if you go enter the one where you say where you enter, you know go fit come back. Or if you enter the one where you say if you enter, uh, they go dupe all your money. It gets something will happen to somebody where you say they close to me. Uh, it has been a long time ago, but it is will be good uh, if I share the news with you. This woman was a teacher. Uh, she's still a teacher now, but that year she was uh, moving, going from uh, Lagos to to uh, Anambra State. So getting to Lagos Park, uh, as she was entering a vehicle to go to Lagos uh, to go to Park uh, Anambra Park. He met with these people, you know, that started talking about having dollars and the rest of them. So, unfortunately for her, she complied, you know, uh, and some of these things is out of greediness. How they will change the dollar, how they remove the jazz that was on the dollar that the boy said that he took the dollar from his master. And they, upon that, they started finding means. And this woman left her travel and joined these people to find means on how to uh, remove the cost on the bag of dollar. That the young man, uh, uh, you know, said he was carrying. Unfortunately for her, not knowing that these people were four one niners. So as they started looking for money, they took them to a native doctor. The native doctor said that yes, he is capable of removing the cost that is on the money before they will use the money. So now they started asking themselves. The native doctor said uh, because the money is is big, he will be needing like five million uh, to remove what the cost on the money now they started asking each other among themselves they will say they will co uh, uh, contribute money and the person who contributes the highest will get the highest percentage and the woman not knowing that she's the victim of that particular situation you know told them that she has bulk of money about eight hundred thousand naira that was how she went home uh, took this eight hundred thousand naira to these people at the end of everything they gave her a bag to carry home and when she went home, they told her not to open the bag for one week. That after one week, she should open the bag. And after one week, she opened the bag. Lo and behold, my wonderful people, what was stacked in that bag was cut on. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, if you are entering car, uh, make you shine your eyes. As 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 things being half obodo, uh, plenty things they happen now. So as you they enter car, make you shine your eyes and um, make make they know. Uh, use you shine and see the heart. Another information where we say they enter my table now. This one they happen for Enugu Obodere Loko. Uh, they say the governor of Enugu State, Peter Mba, uh, has deployed soldiers to demolish property belonging to retired assistant controller general of immigration. They say the governor Peter Mba led Enugu State government has demolished a building belonging to Barrister Oke Ezugu, a retired assistant controller general of Nigerian Immigration Service, in a manner described by many witnesses as land grabbing by the authorities. Sarah reporters reliably gathered that the land located in independent layout was allocated to Ezugu by former Governor Sullivan Chema and subsequently issued with a certificate of occupancy C of O in 2014. Thereafter, he commenced development on the property and has since invested billions of naira, some he borrowed from the banks to complete. Sahara reporters had reported on February 20, 2023, on how former governor Ifani Uguani led administration also issued multiple certificate of occupancy to one landed property thereby causing confusion among the others. It had been reported that Y. Sullivan Chima administration allocated plot P slash 23 C D independently held Chief Ezugu and issued a C of O in 2014 with file number GAL slash 08031 and certificate number 011910. Uguani's administration allocated the same property to one OK Hyacinth Ayogo and his company Himak Real Limited in 2021 with a C of O issued regardless. Why Anyogo and his company had gone to court to challenge the allocation of the property to Ezuku and others in 2014. 
he later abandoned the court case after the state government filed a motion for joinder in the suit which was granted by the trial judge. Instead of pursuing the court case, he abandoned it and procured soldiers from army headquarters to terrorize Ezugu and his family. After the Economic and Financial Crime Commission arrested him for trespassing on the property, he waited until Governor Pitamba was inaugurated as governor of Enugu State. Having allegedly invested heavily in Mba's campaign, it was time for Governor Mba to reward him. So our reporters gathered that Governor Mba, through the State Capital Territory Development Authority, ECTDA, on July 14, 2023, went and marked Ezugu's house for demolition. They gave him 48 hours to remove the house, despite the matter still pending in court. It was gathered that he said, the said Yacint Ayogo, an ally of the secretary to the Enugu state government, Professor Chidiabere Onya, came to Ezugu's house on Monday, July 17, 2023, with soldiers from Abuja and officials of ECDDA, who reportedly manhandled his workers and cutted away CCTV cameras that captured their brutality and 400,000 mAh power bank. They were said to have also brutalized the retired immigration officer, Barrister Ezugu, and his phones taken away. However, SSG Onya was contacted and after having a meeting with the party with the parties on Monday in his office, he reportedly directed the ECTDA, which he supervised, to demolish the property. A video of the demol demolition seen by Sahara reporters on Tuesday afternoon shows soldiers coordinating off the street and fence of the retired immigration officer's house, joined by mobile policemen said to have also come from Abuja while an excavator was pulling down part of many buildings. The fence and the gate of the house had already been pulled down at the time of the filing this report while excavators were making frantic effort to pull down the buildings. Uh, my people, when I don't see I see they happen. Uh, the matter will be said there for Nigerian politics, no be here. Uh, one person go issue certificate, uh, the other person go come in uh, and know the certificate and give another person the certificate, and which is not supposed to be so because this thing is the government of wickedness, uh, politics of wickedness. And that is why uh, they are against people like Maze and the who has been saying the truth all this wide. Uh, because these people don't want to hear the truth. Uh, they don't want to hear uh, the real thing, the right thing, and do the right thing that they are supposed to do. Uh, meanwhile, I'll be winding down the curtain here. And if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, what are you waiting for? It's a cozy and cool afternoon in Obodo. Kindly subscribe to our channel. Thank you.